to the game and we are on uh, yes we are okay free christmas stream might be the last of the campaign because project avatar is pretty much done we are fighting it off with covert options or options actions and we are infiltrating black site uh so if we don't win this mission or it goes poorly we lose some soldiers it's basically done basically that i don't have enough master sergeants even to hunt the chosen so it's not going to be hey renry it's not going to be all that well if this doesn't go well okay in the meantime i think yeah we have another mission uh, running just you know for experience and stuff and that's about it what was i doing gaining intel okay let's gain more intel what is this Oh, rendezvous ambush uh, forces for one faceless. I don't feel like doing that, to be honest. Faceless will just go away. We don't need more faceless. It, it's completely irrelevant at this point. I see a light. Maybe I can charge something of it. What light? Okay, uh, we're gonna ignore that. Don't, don't care about another thing. Now. Data tap? What? And Avatar project ticking off? <laughs> okay, this is how we start. Awesome. So data tap in New India where we only just opened the region. We can't pull chosen hunters from black site. And this is hunter territory. And it is strength 6, which means this is... No, not that one. 16 to 18 of late game enemies. Yeah, we're not doing that, so... Um, yeah. Goodbye, goodbye rebels. Wow. Because everything, everything, this is the only important thing. Like, this gives us just a tiny sliver of hope. That we can... Oh, you have an you have electricity after 13 hour blackout. Oh, Renry, Renry. Well, I'm happy to see you. Regardless of your terrible situation. Um, Yeah, okay, let's ignore everything and just hope that we can pull this off. Goodbye, rebels. New target for the... Yeah, we can't do. We can't do anything. There's nothing we can do anywhere. Sabotage, nope. Uh, skip. Hack the workstation. Undoable. Yeah. We can't do intel for 21 days. All resistance guys went into hiding. Uh, they don't look like they're in hiding to me. They look, you know, captured. Yeah, nothing. Ooh, fight enemy fight plats. So yeah, they're sending UFOs with reinforcements. Three days. Uh huh. And <laughs> she, <laughs> Tom actually got to become a major. Well, that's that's sort of an achievement, I guess. That's sort of an achievement for the campaign. Aha, uh -huh, we have researched alien encryption, which means we can now build shadow chamber, which we have to build. Asma rifle paused, let's continue. Build shadow chamber, yes. We do it on the power coil. Takes 250 supplies, 10 alloys, 20 crystals, and 3 aluminum cores. Uh, uh, we don't have that. Major pooper. <laughs> Sounds like an achievement. Major pooper. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, shadow chamber. Good stuff. Aha, uh -huh, okay, our covert action reduced avatar progress by two. Good stuff. Do we have more? We do not. At, the, at this point in time. Uh, we only have one Master Sergeant, so we can't do stuff. What could 
we do. We need supplies. Let's do supplies. We can send Major Tom, failure zero, ambush twenty-six. Okay, so twenty-six is is, is a lot. Twenty-six is a lot, so let's do yeah, let's send you. You two are really strong. So if you get ambushed, then maybe we can pull you out. Okay. Mr. Svetrek, hello and Sonny. You join us in our <laughs> dark times. It's even happening. Day is 50 now. Yeah, okay. Can't do anything. Black site. Oh, you guys are at 100? How am I? Well, I'm happy to, to stream as always. You know, this is the most fun times I can have in, in you know, ever. So, I am great. Thank you. So, we have to do this. It's against 10 to 12. But we have six guys. Okay, so this is like a, this is like a precursor. This is this is what we start with, and then we go to black side, and then it's either campaign over or we somehow stay in the fight. This is like the B team. I was thinking about this uh, campaign because it seems to me like it, it might be on its last leg. I was thinking about this campaign and, and, and why are we seemingly so far away from from victory. I have a blocked gaming option for another hour, so I'm bored. Blocked gaming option? We're in a concealed position. What does that mean? How, how do you block gaming option? Okay. So let's see, we have Dr. Glubina, we have Technical Cialo, Don Crebio to scout, our Overwatch guy and Snazzy Pants. Okay, we have full full things. Oh, you're rendering a video. Ah, okay. Can't play while rendering, I remember those days. So everything's over there. Let's go in that direction then. On the enemy. Ah, here's a hunter drone. Great, great start. Look at the vision on that thing. Oh my word. So if he doesn't move away, we're just gonna lose concealment to it. Oh well. Are you rendering a video professionally or for a YouTube? Professionally as in, do you do video stuff? I'm on the move. As a job. Or is it for a hobby? Okay, so let's go. Let's say you at the Moving out. edge of the map. Have a peek. Oh, nothing over there. From 8.3 hours to 2 hours. Got it. Next 12 15 minutes. Sounds like a lot of rendering. Well. Try to sneak, but I don't think it's gonna work. I think we're gonna get caught and lose lose concealment. On it. Start to streaming and YouTube for fun. <laughs> I'm playing so much every day, so I thought then why not? But yeah. Something like that. It is a lot more fun to play with Location confirmed. people hanging around and sharing the experience. Yeah, like I said, went in this direction, which means we are now caught and actually have to kill the thing. Okay, so let's move Don Crabio first. Okay, the prison is already here. This is 10 to 12 of late game enemies. It's going to be quite something, I feel. Uh, we don't have battle scanners. Oh, ho. okay, so those guys are over there. Look at the vision. Basically, we can't even move. 
But if they come towards us, we might you know, get a little bit of overwatch shots. That means we ideally wouldn't want to use Illogical, because she's Sentinel, she can have shots. And you're our best bet to annihilate that drone. Just need to trigger it. But, not trigger the second pod at the same time. So let's say we move Dr. Let's Rubina here. Activate the drone. Slow down now. Uh, snazzy pants, buddy. Where are we gonna put that Overwatch? Yeah, look at that. As soon as we move, so we can't go to to elevation. Basically over there. I would like you not to be too far away from them, because we'll probably run and gun next turn. Okay, let's try with you. Seems like I mean you have high cover here. Can't move much forward anyway. 86. Let's give it a go. You hit. Okay. Hit the armor. Ah, I should have shot with Cialo first. Shred it, I guess. Yeah, laser stand gun. The I win option. Okay, so if you guys are over there, and we know we can't really move, I would like to. Go over here. Scout. Scout a little bit to the forward. We don't see anything. Let's just go here. Alright, so you're now perched over there. You are you should What do we have? Seattle, three and three. Nope, we need you. Okay, so let's put you, Finally. you know, point blank. There you go. Boom. Okay, then you be here. You to be here. You guys go on Overwatch. Hopefully that pod comes into us. Oh, chrysalid. Yeah, because we have infiltration as well. Okay, unfortunately, that pod did not move. That pod did not move. Okay, so... Are there 2023 20, 20, 20, games premieres you're looking forward to buy? No. I never look forward to any new game because they usually suck. And then the best games come from indie developers that you never heard of. Then you just discover them. And you're happy to play them. Okay, so the freaking crystal is there. And say I'm looking forward to any game in particular. Headed there now. Let's see if we can see that pod again. Yes, we can. Oh, so they are on yellow alert, and they, okay, they ran all the way over there. And they are so freaking far away. Priest is over there as well. They usually suck. That is so true and sad. Yeah. What can we do? For the times that we live in. It's like movies, everything went into freaking spectacle and, and visuals and not enough substance, not enough storytelling. Okay, we will try to maybe, hopefully, if they move towards us, catch them. Because activating with them being so far away is just a pain. It's just a pain. Okay, so let's see. It could be... Closer. Already there. This could you. That would activate. Okay. Go over here down. then. Cialo, you might be rocketing next turn. Maybe even Understood. there. Moving out. 
Okay, then I want to push you out of way. Maybe see the chrysalid again. again. Yep, see it. So that we know what it does. Now, guys, please walk towards the sounds of gunfire that you heard, not away from it. Towards the sounds of gunfire. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. Graze. Well, at least that shuts down yellow alert shot. But this guy goes out of. And you miss a 68. Yeah. You hit Graze for 4. Okay. That's something. Oh, snazzy pants. Snazzy pants. Okay. But. We didn't shut down yellow alert shots. Ready for anything. Where are you going? Oh, you're digging in? Fantastic. And we don't have the thing to, to dig you out. So, um, this guy basically has covering fire now. Which means he will shoot at us. When we try to do something. You know what I would like to do? I would like to send the rocket here, bust this wall, and then we can pack from distance. Hey, Ethereal. Scared you would be off for Christmas. Nope, nope, nope. We are going to visit my parents tomorrow, so we get one last pre-Christmas stream. However, that guy has... Stuff I don't like. Oh, we have lightning reflexes on Ethereal. Lightning reflexes on Ethereal. Who could indeed run and gun over there. He could activate doing so, but... What the hell can we do? So we had a here we had a pod here it's unlikely there's another pod over there this is all line of sight blocking we know there's a crystal over there there's gonna be a pod guarding inside 10 to 12 okay so we are going to have to run and gun and then hopefully you can just execute this guy and don't get hit by double overwatch shots Also, this guy might have Sentinel. Yep. So, that didn't even solve our problem completely. 100% uh, to crit, plus 5, 13. So, we need you to not mineral. And you did not. Who's keeping he is dead. Okay, so the game says one tile, but one tile puts us in his vision. No, it doesn't. It does not, actually. This puts us in his vision. This does not. Look at this hack. Look at this hack. Okay. Killing instinct. I know, I know. Well, it's not double. It's 50% extra. So. Okay. Watch removed. He goes into freaking stasis, but we can overwatch him. And now, indeed, I like very much the idea of busting this wall so that we don't have to go towards the chrysalid. Let's make it happen. Uh huh. There we go. This is a little bit unfortunate. I would say. It's the commander guy, so there's gonna be stuff happening. And you are now flanked. Oof. You are flanked, but this is a snipey snake. Is it? No. Is it? No. Oh, it's not. It's a flanky snake. Okay. 
These are all things that I really, really hate. So we can't be on Overwatch with you as I planned. Because we need to give... We need to move you. And this guy is on one hit point. This would activate the chrysalis, but Don Crabio has blade thingy. Combatives? Combatives. Hey, Kurt! An increased crit damage from, from I don't know, 4 to plus 5 or something? Something like that. Okay, at least we can, at least we can flashbang them both. If we kill another guy, he might, well, if we flashbang him, he won't go for mass resurrection. If we don't flashbang him, he might go for mass resurrection. Then we just kill him next turn. And don't care about it. However, a s uh, flash banging the snake might not be bad. You also have this blade storm. So if you were to sl slash the snake, seven to eleven, eleven percent crit, max roll crit kills it. But then blade storm maybe does. We have to risk it, because we only have two characters and stuff is active. Which makes me think you should just execute the guy to potentially make sectoid... Oh, but you would be then... If we go over there, we would... Is there like... No, so there's no cover over here. So, but he doesn't have any movement to go to cover. He wouldn't even go to cover. He would just do his thing standing there. And we do not have covering fire. Or he might go for double move. Well, I mean... Desperate times. Desperate times. Don't think too much. Just do stuff. Just do stuff. Yeah, but he can't reach cover anyway, so... I'm thinking that might be the reason why he wouldn't... Why he would just stand there. And since we're standing in the open, then we're standing in the open. Like, who cares? It's just that kind of mission. It's just that kind of mission. Nope, he went for a shot, okay. And we didn't get... Oh, it's Shadow Step. They don't get... Ooh, nicely dodged, 63. I'm down here. You don't get... Uh, Blade Storm against Shadow Step enemies. Okay, so what did that actually do? No wound yet. Nothing. Now, problem is... Crystalid will run out, but Don Crebio has combatives. So what we need to happen right now... 
is to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles forward. We can be nine tiles forward, so this should be fine. Should give us grenade, but it can't hit both of them. Only hit one. Okay, how are we gonna kill the snake? Snake is not flankable. We can kill the snake by you running inside all the way and then being commanded. That would, however, proc the chrysalid. Also, it might proc another pod. <laughs> so, um, uh. yeah. Well, it might be the last mission of the campaign, but you got the thing. Yeah, yourself, needle grenadier, and and Overwatch Sentinel. Could we even command you over there? Yeah, we could by standing in the open. And standing in the open would allow us to do the thing next turn. Okay, so I'm thinking... Uh, what's your grenade? It's tandem. Okay, so we could, after the chrysalid procs, grenade both the sectoid and the chrysalid. So I guess this is our first move. Also, the exploded thing would hit... Who? Why would you do that? Oh, because... Because, oh, Chrysalid is dug in, and then if you shoot this thing, it will damage it. The state of the campaign, we're about to lose, yeah. The state of the campaign is, we have to do the Avatar project. Or, or rather, we have to do the Black Site or lose. And that's happening after this one. Okay, anyway. Flesh, but... Such a way that you don't get grenaded. Oh, you stunned him! 30%. Here comes the chrysalid. But we got combatives. Take that. Oh no, it actually... ...doesn't attack? That's something. Okay. Well, this complicates things. How did it go there, the... the you bastard! Look at this! Look at this, it went to a tile from which I can't grenade both of them. As I, was, I, I stood here expecting the thing to be there, you know. They don't attack in Long War of the Chosen. So they're basically nerfed a little bit, you're saying. Look at that sneaky thing. Good to go. Standing in the open. There's a stupid mechanic. You move to get attacked and poison. Yeah, well, that was... You could reveal them with, with battle scanners, you know, so... It was an ambush. I, I, I was okay with that. I was okay with that. Well, I mean... Okay. Can't hit them both, we'll just hit the thing. But look at that. What if we go high? Ah, uh, <laughs> freaking... Freaking chrysalid hacker. Whatever you say. Did you see that one? Running 
Oh wow, it's annihilated, okay. If that's the case, let's stand in the open with the loot. Uh oh. 38 and 5. <sighs> Yellow alert. Boom. Boom. Four and six, that's ten. So this should be all, or except there might be a drone or something. Now we have two mechs that we don't even see. You are running a gun in one turn. This guy is at 23, so you could put him to sleep. We don't care about him, but how the hell do we kill a mech with five armor, 38 hit points? Could also drop a fire grenade on him and then maybe he dies. Which means you could shoot. Oh, we have incoming. Does incoming hit everyone right now? Doesn't hit Ethereal. We got three turns with you. Well, yeah, we got three turns, so it's not a big deal. How do we climb? We climb for there. If that's all on the map, then we need to deal with this stuff. Let's not hack. What's the best we can do? The best we can do is like pop incoming. We don't have a command anymore. Pop incoming and go on overwatch. Then we get two overwatch shots over there. Cialo doesn't have a rocket. He shouldn't be here to bait the rockets, because rockets will kill. Will kill Concrebio. We need to be one, two, three, four, five tiles forward. Four? Yeah, this is not enough. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Wolf Pack. Back, Otto, Gamer 1. Welcome, welcome. I think we need to go Hi, all the way. Yep, okay, so so now we see him. And we can't throw the grenade over there. Yeah. And we're too short to throw the grenade over here because we would shred too. Because we have the perk. <sighs> okay. Nazi pants. Can't shoot the thing. You can't reach cover to grenade him from. Okay, so. What if we used Oscar Mike? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you go there, you grenade them both. You go here, you shoot. You stand in the open and go on Overwatch, because this guy will run. <laughs> this is... <laughs> okay. What are we gonna do with you? So you two won't be hit by the thing. Or we move forward and then we go... Okay. We're not gonna stand in the open, we're gonna move forward and then we're gonna use incoming. 
but we can't because it's a free action and we can't we can't use Oscar Mike move we will have to move Oscar Mike no move incoming Oscar Mike that's what we will have to move incoming then everybody's in Oscar Mike and turn that's it Either or, huh? Okay. Ah, he's got damage control. He just gets his armor back. Well, if we can't burn you... Let's see if we can burn this doofus. But we don't need a grenade for that. Might as well use a flamethrower. Odds are the same. Hey, Palinerno. Okay, he's burning. So he's dealt with. So yeah, now we're baiting grenades with three characters and they all have ability and they have been given incoming. And I would really, really like to put this guy to sleep. So you're gonna have to go hero mode, I think. But your chance will be like, again, it's gonna be a 50 or something. I mean, one of those mechs is going to come here to grenade, for sure. Back Otto, I decided I would rewatch XCOM 2 gameplay, but because XCOM is quite an old game, so there are no new series on YouTube, I could become a part of. So I'm here on Twitch. Well, there you go. New stories being told in XCOM all the time. Although this is not XCOM 2, this is Long War of the Chosen. This is a full conversion mod, which makes the game only 500 times better. So ethereal do we go full hero mode with you baiting shots thinking you cannot die because i don't think you're gonna have i i know one mech is going to grenade look at it look at this three targets super juicy micro missiles incoming 100 percent sure so one might you know can when I get untouchable? You're not gonna get untouchable. This campaign is a lot long for this world. I'm gonna do it. I feel like you either get a hero's death or yeah look it's 92 from point blank. Or a hero moment. And you missed the 92. And this is why I won't plus aim on the stun gun this is why I want plus aim on the stun gun which you're like nah we don't need that who needs that nobody needs that we need damage build don't miss a 92 I didn't miss it you missed it you missed it buddy Well, we don't have rapid fire. Uh, we can't get out. Even though you guys are somehow active. Can you open the door? No, you can't. Uh, 
Okay, well, let's see. I mean, everybody should have been Master Sergeants by, by now, you know? Here they come, as expected. We baited you into that one really good. You are stunned, but alive. He moves away. And the other one... Suppresses Cialo out of all things. I think he line of sight hacked himself and he doesn't see you, Ethereal. I think that's what happened here. Just too scary. Now we have nothing, well, you are, yeah, 33, forget about it. Nothing would be more useful than this 79. Standing in the open. This is how we roll. Standing in the open. Because it's desperate times. I'm gonna do with you. I'm gonna flame you, that's what I'm gonna do with you. Okay. And then if that doesn't work, then we're screwed. But standing in the open doesn't really help me. I don't think I can kill this guy. So, Ethereal, you could definitely run and gun and kill this mech. Cialo will move in and flame. Nazi Pants can sh shoot. Again on the big mech. We can't kill the big mac, no matter what, we, unless we ignore the small one. Yeah, but if you're there, Ethereal, then this guy can't live. If he'll just flank you, crit you, you're dead. have a theory so we hit for 6 to 11 let's say he loses two armor he has one armor armor so we hit him for the grenade hits him for some amount well we have to grenade him so let's start with that we have to grenade him that's a fact I would like to grenade him from where you are but you can't move but I think it should work from I'm not sure it's true from there. But we need just one more tile. Oh, two tiles. And Snazzy Pants is one tile for you. What if we took cover behind an exploded thing? Like, can something bad come out of it? And then we should have line of sight to, to 
send the grenade in. Through the door. There should be a line. There it is. Okay, so now we're breaking the suppression. And shredding armor. He will still have three armor, damage control. Ah, okay. Well, he has two armor. Nope, he has four armor. Okay. Well, that means we hit four. Two, two, seven. So that's like five. Then he's at 25. Then we hit four. Five to ten. So that's seven. Yeah, we can't kill him. Area suppression doesn't do anything. His movement is such that he could get here, okay? Means Yalo is on flank over here. Closing on target position now. Toasty. Claim him. Nope. Well. So now we don't have incoming anymore, but we could still bait more. And you would be set on fire if you went there. You would have to stand in the open. And you would have to crit again for 25. Kill the guy. Guess you'll just have to do that, right? Another 25 crit. Crit for 22. He had he had exactly 22. Okay. There we go. <laughs> That's something. Okay, and if that's the case, we need to make sure this sector is dead. Also, at the same time, baiting, baiting another, another thing. So yeah, this squad is too weak for for November. This is not not strong enough for November times. If I go on Overwatch, he can break that Overwatch just by sending missiles, and we're expecting him to send missiles. It's kind of pointless. So they can go out, but you can shoot them through the door. Okay, fun, fun times. next to the thing okay and the door still closed rock and roll
Okay, you are more or less useless now because you only have a flashbang. Aha, uh -huh, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot the barrel with you. can't run in so yeah you you guys need to die um, oh this still has this still isn't hacked even though we have control it's not hacked it means you could now hack and shoot Infiltrating codex coordinates in 30th December, so yeah, we're quite behind. Here I have 15 master sergeants. That was so good so far. Uh -huh. Okay, can you guys get out now? Yes, you can. damage control proc. However, we can shred two of those with a grenade. Moving to designated coordinates. Does it get more? I don't know. No. Okay. He's finally down to only one. As it pants, we need a big hit now. You have 85. Right, you hit. Okay. Down to 11. Down to 11. Who do we even have? We have you two. You don't hit for 12, do you? No. I... No, you hit for 8 to 12. Fight. Let's do this. Yeah, 8 to 13. But it's not 100. Okay. Okay. And now we need a high roll. We need to hit and we need a high roll. Which makes me think there's no... Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we can't do that. Unless we let him bleed. Uh, we save our own. What can we do? Hey, silencer. We have to go for saving our comrades. Which means this guy gets to micro missile. Unless we, like, give him a. Easily killable target in form of a character that you know does really nothing for for the war effort, or maybe even two, so he micro missiles them. How's that? This feels like he took the bait. Yep. There we go.
raised, because of course. Of course you did. Well, we won the mission, but you know, at what cost? Well, it doesn't matter. Like you know, black site is is the thing that we need to win, and that is very very iffy proposition. But okay. You got some heroics, you know, again. You've done some heroics again, Ethereal. However, the problem with you, Ethereal, is you got wounded all the time for a long, long time. That's why you're still a low rank. And, and, and ultimately, that's my conclusion for this campaign. It all went to hell at the very beginning when I didn't really know how to skip lasers. And then we were undergunned for a month. And accumulated deaths and wounds. A lot of wounds. On a lot of characters. And that set us behind. And then you can't liberate the region in August. Your first liberation can't be in August. You lose so many resources by not liberating a region in June. And actually being able to, to do supplies. So... <laughs> Even though we were spammed by scientists and we were like ahead on tech after we we got to the after we got to through the hurdle of 32 days after we got through the hurdle of magnetic weapons I feel like we were already in a spiral Ah uh, look at that 30 points even more mobility even more HP yeah, you would have been awesome. Look at that. Oh well. Uh, I changed my mind. We need all the shots we can get. Ha! <laughs> Superior speed. Lead stock. Speed, speed, speed. Okay. We got a rookie, but that's kind of pointless. Now, he's cautious. I never got to I never got to create a suppression spec gunner like fully and then use him fully so I can't really tell you I keep trying I keep trying to but I always fail before I actually make a suppression build for one reason or another I think it, it can be really good but it's not easy to pull off I didn't use gunners in the last two campaigns. I didn't even get to use gunners the way I wanted to. Another mistake was I really should have power leveled snazzy pants. I didn't. I didn't pay enough pay enough attention to levels and leveling up. That was that was one big mistake. Uh, okay, nothing's going on. Ah, we got skull mining. Nothing we can do anywhere. Okay, we got some supplies. Yeah. We can get the attack. Yeah, it's weird that we didn't get the attack, actually. In my test campaign, I got attacked in August. And now we got, what, alien infiltrators twice in a row? Cyclic fire has to be taken, like that's that's a must. Okay, you guys brought in 72 supplies. Mm -hmm. 
Do Senator progress. Keep the dream alive. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. It's kind of pointless to even look at stuff. But just keep getting it back. So now we have supplies, which means if we wanted to make shadow chamber, we would have to buy alloys Illyrium. Illyrium. We still need 250. So sell everything. Oh, they want superior speed for 60. Take it. Take it. Take a lead stock. But fairness. Guard gun, we don't need it. Need you guys. Need anything. Uh, but I don't think we have three Illyrium cores anyway. Yeah, we don't have Illyrium cores. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can't be in November and have barracks like I do. It's, it's not done. Just not done. Smash and grab. Very light. Are we there yet? 103. Yes, we are. And look at this. Because this is a region with... Oh, it's now 3 strength? Ah, it used to be 6. Um, 34 to 36. 34 to 36. Yeah, I think I need to give up on suppression gunner. Cyclic, you know, just just one shooty gunner with cyclic fire. That's what you need for huge enemies and for chosen fortresses. Keep your heads up. Expect heavy opposition. Yeah, but did you do it in November? Yeah. What kind of enemies we're gonna get? And none of these guys is a listen. None of these guys is a master sergeant. Our rangers don't have rapid fire. Like I'm, I'm stupidly behind. Stupidly behind on 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 experience, which makes me value healing so much more now. I wanna make infirmary as fast as humanly possible for the next campaign. I think I need to keep the soldiers fighting. I had a sector pot. Oh god. Yeah. I mean, we don't have shred. We have few grenades, sure. But sector pot has like eight armor or something. Oh jeez. Okay. Well, this is what it is. Let's go for elevation, see what we can find from there. We're gonna give it our best shot. Okay. We're gonna give it our best shot, but I am really not optimistic. Not. Okay. It is. I've never had a map like this. Although I, I think I have some sort of mod that does something with maps. Because before it was always the same. It was like building on the left, building on the right. Black side was like a straight ahead. It was always exactly the same. But I think I have some sort of mod that does something with with maps. I can cover it. 
like it's, it's supposed to give some sort of map variety or something. I mean, different maps is not some some you know questionable mod. I don't think. I hear snakes. Turrets over here. Okay. Oh, he found something. We've got an enemy squad here. Mm hmm. That's a Mac. That was a Muton. Some codexes. Okay. At least it's a numerous pod that we could. Blow our grenade on. Roger that. There were some snakes, I think, as well. Yeah, because we still hear them. Go, go, go. This is really, really not good. Like to have elevation. If they move towards us and then run out. But yeah, the line of sight is going to be iffy. you back and then we'll see to coordinates. where they go. Sonny, you're here. While in Revno, you can't really command anyone from there. Mich zu okay. Okay, so drone over here, but I guess that's that pod. They're moving in this direction. Yeah, okay, so the rest must be over there. Can't really tile scan and they're really far away. I go what I'm needed. It would be superb if we killed a strong pod close to the edge. Yeah, okay, so let's hope they continue in that direction. I'm if they do, great. Sectopod or gatekeeper is always present on black side. Awesome! Well, I guess this campaign has also been a campaign of learning. So now we know there's always a sectopod on black side. I'm gonna have to use that in the next campaign. Okay, so you guys are really close, which is great, which means you're gonna stay within lines of fire. Fortunately, the drone continues, so that's an extra enemy. Wow, look at that mobility. And it didn't see 
Sony, I guess that was lucky because it was flying through the thing. Okay. Well, we go loud now. We're gonna split codexes. That's gonna be fun. Uh, that's that. This is this is this is going to be fun. But look at this. Look at this volatile mix. Oh man, grenadiers are awesome. Here we go. Learning never ends. Biggest booms. Zero kills. Ah, yeah, yeah, we learned they don't split on the grenade. On the grenade when we open up. Okay, so now... Rangers with double shots. So what do we have? Well, the obvious thing. Let's get rid of the Overwatch. So everything is super wounded, which makes Ben's serial quite a proposition. Six, four, five. So he could kill three if we wounded him, he could kill four. He would have to stand in the open though. One, two, three, four. Here he would have a little bit of how many shots? One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, if you wound the snake, he can get it. He could he could kill a lot of stuff. But these three at least. That's the case. Big shot on the drone. Or Walk fire on the sectoid. Sectoid is like the least of our troubles. But if we end up leaving him alive. Okay, let's see what Renry does. What Renry has. Renry has. Hi. New Reaper? I'm never gonna have more than one. Never gonna have more than one. Okay, drone actually, because we have the build that wakes people up, if it dies, <laughs> uh, we can also sort of ignore the drone, the drone is gonna, should go for, I mean this is a hunter drone, so if it goes for a shot, that shot's going to hurt, but they usually go for, for sleepy times. Okay, you only have one shot. Where are you? Kurt, 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 buddy. There you are. You only have one shot. Would like that shot to be either on the Muton or on the Snake. That Snake has a lot of HP and is in, in a weird position. Which makes me think I want to fly over there and then smack it with a dead eye. Yep. Dead eye the snake. It's not guaranteed, but Kurt has never let us down. Okay, snake out. So we're saying these three are killable, should be killable by Ben's cereal. Which means this guy is a problem. You have a shot on him. Oh no, you do have a shot. Okay, so if he's a problem, let's have Renry shoot at him twice. 
And if he potentially survives, then he's also Syria Bull, maybe. Well, he's Syria Bull now. Very much so. Also, hollow targeted. Which means the sectoid can be killed with a clutch shot. Or we can just command one of the rangers to do it. We still have your shot. Ah, oh, okay. We're saying now Ben can kill four targets. From 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 like here. He can kill four targets. If he can do that, then we can shoot the drone with the two of you. And then you could clutch shot the sectoid and he's dead. Zero to crit. Okay. So we're betting on the power of of Ben, not messing up a serial chain. That's what we're betting on. Yeah, of course you grazed. Of course you did. Grazed. Only the best. Okay, and now <laughs> it's either you know Ben does the epic serial chain or we lose the campaign. Drum roll, says Philosopher's Stone. Ben, it's all you. It's all you, Ben. Successful serial chain, or we lose the campaign. It's a 99. 8 to 13. So we only lost 1 HP? Okay. <laughs> he unlocked Master Sergeant with this. <laughs> he grazed the 99 and didn't complete the serial chain. That's the Ben we know. That's the Ben we know. <sighs> Good for his standards. <laughs> Yeah, the problem here is we don't see the mech. I could I could shoot with the pistol. But I mean we can fix it, but my god, Ben. My god, it's a freaking 99. Didn't he graze the 100? Yeah. That that was something. Ben, Ben, Ben. Ben, Ben, Ben. Curse of Jake Sullivan strikes again. <laughs> My God, Ben. Okay, so that was seven out of thirty four. And one of those 34 is a sectoid. Hey. I'm going. Not a problem. Sectoid, sectopod. Well, at least we got a nice ambush. And we almost completed four kills serial chain. Almost. All freaking most. Double time. Allá voy. No 
need to ask twice. Position bestätigt. Got it. Okay, so now we Shadow Scout. Okay, got the cinematic. The patrol is upwind. Uh, the drone. No biggie. We go seven percent hit crit, I guess. Okay. Uh, activation. What are you talking about? Oh, I guess the game just didn't update yet. Yeah. So it's gonna be some some turrets up there. There's always turrets. We have collector. Yeah, we do. Sectoid, sectoid, sectopod is going to be inside. A lot of room. There could be stuff over here. There's a lot of enemies, you know. Okay, so let's... Let's make sure there's not enemies on that side as much as we can. I will go. Okay, so we didn't see anything. And where you are, you saw forward. This door is closed, okay. That's something, I guess. It means the rest of you guys can move forward. Copy that! Location confirmed. Look out! Already there. Okay. All is quiet. Okay, so let's have a look see. As you order, Commander. We're there. So we see a part inside. Now, FYI, once you grab the wild, immediate reinforcements spot on top of you. Immediate. Well, let's 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 you know burn that bridge once we you know see it, because we're very far away from such a thing happening. That's a part inside, but it's not going to be the only part inside. Would we want to go on a roof? Some sort of roof sneakiness. This is only 8, guys. There's 30 something. Honestly, I wish there was like a pod over here. Something that we could fight. Listening for for uh, turrets. Generally, have the map is outside. Yeah, could be. Okay, but this is just we go close, but the vial is actually behind. Okay, so well now we have an opportunity to actually go to this door. I guess. But we could sort of be flanked from that side if something walks from that side. Uh, 
I don't know. Henry, you don't have I'm ready. Auto loader? No problem, boss. You do, so good. Heading out. Also have an auto loader. Venga, vamos, vamos. Let's create a small Group. Not a problem. There's like a hidden timer, something like twenty turns, right? Something like that. Affirmative, covering now. So we got some time. Moving to Overwatch. Don't need to rush too crazily. Give a fire shot. Roof or no roof? I know, like, I, I, I just don't remember. I read it in the wiki. It says that Blackside has, has a timer. What would we gain by going on the roof? Nothing. Activating whatever the hell is inside. What we would want to do is actually activate stuff. Like that pod, and then have it come to us. Sort of, while we are hidden someplace in, with Overwatch. I think. Yeah, because we, we want something to come closer to us. We don't want to fight that over there. So I'm thinking maybe Sony does the run. Maybe he sees them, he activates them. And then he runs back into high cover. They would be really far away. And we just overwatch with everybody. Because we don't want to wait two more turns for Shadow, or do we? We don't. Sure thing. Oh, now there's a drone on that side as well. Okay. Huh, you guys are kind of nicely grouped up. Yeah, the grenade won't do much other than remove evasive, you know, from the guys that have it. Active 6. But Sony is then in low cover. Uh, we can get a flanking shot on him. And... Potentially that guy. If this thing gets destroyed, maybe on him as well. There's another one. It's probably going to be on... on, on it's probably going to be a uh, Stan Lancer. But on the other hand, they are grouped up now really, really nicely. And this drone, we can we can just risk drone going for a stun on on uh, Sunny. I did this move, and my Colonel Grenadier was killed. Well, dude, we are. We are really in a desperate situation. I don't feel like this campaign is winnable anyway, so... We're either gonna get stupidly lucky and, you know... Win by... Insane heroics, or this is the end. Hearing a snake. There might be a snake on the roof or something. Now, I don't want to drop a grenade because we could shred at least a little bit of, of that sector pod. So this guy is going to have high cover. Which means he can stasis someone. 
19 health. We don't have rapid fire. That's the that's the bane of this squad. We don't have rapid fire. We only have banish on Ben. Ben couldn't do a serial. These things are way too high HP. And he couldn't flank enough of them. Could flank too, but these are the guys with many, you know, with high evasive defense dodge stuff. So at the best, he could banish. Although Ben has a 92 right now. So he could, from where he is, take out that guy. In theory, but you know, that's Ben, so he'll probably graze, graze, but... Shooting star sharp and stupid, and yeah. So he could take out that guy. If he takes out that guy, you could dead eye this one. I don't count that, you know, I don't expect that to be a kill, but that means one of the rangers could finish up. So we could get rid of these two, and then what we have is you two. And the unknown thing, which possibly is a... Uh... Yeah, okay, well, gotta do it anyway. Out, out, out. Okay. Yeah, it's no, it's a sentinel, okay. Oof. That gives us three targets for How many? Yeah, that's only 14 still. <laughs> it's still only 14. Oh. And there's the There's a sectopod. Yeah. It's just chilling next to the vial. Okay. Um, this makes me want to drop another grenade, to be honest. Sectopod is probably coming next. And whether we shred him once or twice, it won't make that much of a difference, I don't think. And we really need to get rid of this pod. So yeah, Ben would have three targets, but this guy would be dead from a grenade, the sentinel. Potentially even this one. Yeah, we need it. We need, we, we need, we need another grenade. Can you do something? Shut down 100%. Uh, Haywire doesn't end turn, right? It's yellow, so I, I don't know. No, it's yellow, so it doesn't turn. It does, yeah. Eight protocol and command. Yeah, or shoot. Like a 60. To scratch it a little bit and then command. Hacking doesn't, yeah. Okay, so it's now a question of... 8 protocol. Who would even get 8 protocol? You know, potentially Ben if he was here, but why would he be here? I don't think he's gonna be there. I don't think we're gonna go for serial. So, we're gonna take a shot. Of 
or we could move to high cover and then command. You know, I, I think that's that's a better idea actually. That shot is kind of irrelevant. And we're gonna hope that the, the the drone goes for a stun. Hey, Pepe. This is for you. Come on, give us some big boomies. Still nobody dead. Even the guy with seven. So you did a mineral on him. You did an absolute mineral on him. And the priest is on one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we don't have... I didn't reload you. Damn it. Okay, well, if that's the case, Vanish isn't even an option. Oh, now it got destroyed. I didn't pay attention. Serial is on cooldown? Oh, indeed it is. Okay. Eighty-four. It's a hundred. You know what? I feel like reload is actually better here because we're gonna have to shoot. I mean, he's not gonna do much with banish the sectoid, sectopod, but he's gonna do the most. Yeah, blood trail, but so much armor. He doesn't have AP ammo. He has, uh, he has needle rounds. We can shred it for two. That's it. He can't, can't really solo it. But no. I feel like we need to have, we need to have him on full, full ammo. Blue screen gunner with cyclic? Yeah, yeah. Cyclic gunner is your anti sectopod solution. Absolutely is. So, what are these two? Sentinel Sergeant. Give it a go. Okay. 
That's Kurt for you. Whatever you say. So do we want to kill this guy or the drone? Drone is not guaranteed. If the first shot misses, then we can't kill it with the second one anyway. And I do hope the drone... That's the whole point of this build. Oh. Uh, you don't see... You don't see that guy from here. Or... Reasons unknown, okay? I guess we're gonna have to hope that you kill him and then implacable out. It's a hundred, so that's not, not, a, not a question of if. And then let's put you in high cover. Now with you... You're like high value asset right now, so let's put you out of harm's way. Now we see if the drone goes for a stun or for a shot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was worried about. Okay. They might have been on green alert. How was I supposed to check my right? They were on green alert. Well, we were ahead until two other pods showed up. Now we're not ahead. They always find a way to die. I called it 8 protocol in the grenadier. It wouldn't do anything. I would still get him. So what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to go over here and then what? Clear spots. Clear pods on the outside. Look at that. Yeah, this is the sector pod. Nah, dude. We There was never any chance. There was never any chance to, to win this mission with this squad. Five, yeah. Okay, well, we have two options we fight until everybody dies, and then we concede defeat, or we just don't see these guys die. And Pauline Revno can get him up. We can, we can get him up. You know, we can we can stabilize him and heal him and he'll be back. It's not that bad. Hmm. We can't win it because no rapid fire, dude. We can't. We'll see. I mean, okay. 
let's play on and then you'll, you'll see this is this is not this is not this is not winnable so where you are Renry you have cover relative to both sides but that cover is low cover and it's as if it's nothing these two drones are kind of far away so you're the best bet to kill this drone so that we get rid of it there you go that's a hunter drone over there this elite trooper would be holo targeted if you shot okay implacable yeah, implacable, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be at their mercy next turn. So, you know. That's that's what's going to happen. See, and if we had rapid fire, now this would be dead. You got to have master sergeants. He grazed the 99. He grazed the 99. Buying XCOM today for the first playthrough should avoid buying War of the Chosen. Um no, for base game War of the Chosen kind of makes it, you know, a little bit more interesting. I don't think you should. It doesn't make it harder or anything. So base War of the Chosen is fine. And look at that. We got... We got... Uh, stunned with a guy who clears stunts. So there's that. And lose 30 times. So basically what we're going to do with Paolo and Revno is we're going to hunker tank. So we're going to hunker down. Welcome to the wolf pack. Aooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
But that puts us close to the drone and then drone could put us to sleep. But next turn we could wake you up. We could actually bait the drone into putting us into sleep. Because if you stay alive and you're not stunned, you could wake us up. So move forward. Everyone moves right, except the guy who dies over there, you know? Sure thing. <clears throat> Maybe bleeds out. Well, we can't double move. Okay. Oh, the drone's gonna shoot him. We don't have that much healing, you know, to go around. We have four heals, that's it. <laughs> yeah, we can line aside hack him. Two elite troopers. Rocketeer went inside. He went back. He was here, so he went back. He's really far. He's like over here. We don't know where the priest is. He might just run out and flank us next turn. Now the question is, I didn't hear drones. Uh, drones. I didn't hear turrets, but how the hell? There was always... Whenever I did black side, there was always turrets. I hear a turret. But I hear it far away. Yeah, I hear it when we're here. You have grapple. So, you know, if he grappled, if he didn't use the ladder and he just grappled here, he might hack the line of sight of the, of the of the turret if it's somewhere over there. But he would need to be unstunned. Which is fine, we can do that. And then he can grapple up and... Wouldn't have a flanking shot. He would have a shot on the drone that hit him. Okay, let's do that. That stabilize. You're gonna have to wait. Survival protocol. He has 3 HP. Okay, but if we're here, then we're stepping out. If we're here, we're not stepping out. And this thing blocks line of sight. So we're gonna go, oh, okay, but from here we do see the drone, the priest is still over there, now we see every, oh, look at that. Look at what's coming. Oh, 
so. Okay. <coughs> okay, no turret activation. Eight to thirteen. We have AP ammo. So that's seven to twelve. We need to hit for ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw that. Let's take an eighty-nine. I couldn't take center mass, he didn't have enough aim. He was a randomly promoted guy. Dude, miss one point of damage versus many many misses removed. It's not even a contest. Aim surpasses everything. Over the course of campaign, how many shots you take and how many shots you connect versus one point of damage on the connected shots. Connecting shots is more important than dealing one damage when you do. Because that one damage does nothing on all the shots you miss because you didn't take aim. aim. This is XCOM. You're gonna miss 99s. Like, I'm telling you, aim is the most important thing. Also, what this campaign has taught me is that snipers are kind of... They're not A-listers. Uh, if you're playing Iron Man Long War of the Chosen campaign. Uh, Multi-shots. So cyclic fire and rapid fire. Those are the things you absolutely must have. And snipers shooting once. Not even with Alpha Mike Foxtrot. You know, they can, they can always kill stuff. They, they can't kill what's most important for you to kill. AP says shooting guns are awesome. Yeah. The, the problem with, with snipers is they can't deal with the, the, the strongest possible targets. And only that from above guy gets, you know, gets the thing. Doesn't matter. Like, I'm not losing because of any class. I'm losing because of I fumbled the, the early game. I fumbled in the early game and now it's becoming apparent because it just just created a spiral, you know. Although disabling shot is a new thing in Long War of the Chosen and it actually probably is a very good thing to have. Because disabling enemies like, you know, if you can't kill it, you disable it like stun from the gunner. Give it utility. Uh, hmm. Anyways. If you're getting to black side in long war, you are doing pretty well. No, well, this is where we lose the campaign next, actually. But it's all process of learning. But I literally know how how I lost this campaign. I lost it in 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 April. I lost it by fumbling in April. Okay. Uh, If I shut you down, uh, this guy is gonna hit you 100% in high cover. I mean, it's not 100%, but I feel like I'm gonna have to risk it. 
because then uh, still can come here and make make shorty both barrels and Ben can banish and hopefully kill a guy it's not gonna be a hundred but then we've we're cleared the, the right side and you kill this drone this drone is asleep and then we see that's the course of action that I'm gonna do you're about to win your first Iron Man ish legend campaign well if it's Iron Man ish it's not Iron Man it's very easy to win if you only only ever so slightly reload every now and then if you're a really good player it's not that hard to win when you're just using reloads on a critical junctures, you know? You know that was good. Three times in 126 missions. I mean, easy. But okay, like, like I said, if you're a good player, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna help Ben by follow targeting that guy. It's a big difference when you're allowed to help yourself every now and then. Yeah, I didn't get it. Problem is, we're gonna have negative here, so I'm tempted to use shadow just for extra mobility. Well, I don't have to, I can use dedication so that I can shoot him from here. Really, it helps so much with snowballing. Yeah, exactly. Dedication puts us over here. That still gives us a penalty. Screw it. Let's go Shadow. Now we don't have to... We don't have to worry about it. He's holo targeted, so this... Ba Thirty-four enemies. <sighs> They're going to be all over the freaking place. And you couldn't crit a fifty percent. Great. Absolutely. Ah, now we activate the turrets. Half the stuff is outside. Next time, let's come in here way earlier with better squad. That's that's what's happening next time. Yeah, it's not it's well, look it's not hard if you come into it with really strong squads with really strong soldiers if you have your master sergeants if you have your rapid fire gunners if you have your cyclic fire not gunners rangers no. high cover means nothing it's not that hard if you reach it if you reach it with strong strong soldiers You make him a holy warrior, like he needs it. I will win this? No, I won't. I know I won't. He had vision on him. Oh, there goes Kurt. Yeah, if we didn't get, yeah, if this paw didn't come in and shoot, shoot him, then we might have had a fighting chance. But this is, this is just no. We are done. So I really hate seeing my guys die. 
<laughs> Still, is it because I'm a twist of being lost? I'll give you a pass to restart the mission. No, we're not gonna restart the mission. Like even even if even with reloads, even if we want this, we are in no position to win this campaign because we can't do missions. We have no resources. We don't have soldiers. We don't have three master sergeants to to get rid of the guys easily. We're just behind. We're, we're just behind. We're late on everything. We are late on everything. So, yeah, I've reached black site way too late because I couldn't get I couldn't get the thing uh, in time. I couldn't get the HQ. I couldn't liberate the region in June. And it all snowballed from uh fumbling with uh researching magnetics, skipping lasers, skipping lasers completely without have not having without not having uh, firepower to do it so that's basically it that's basically it so what we're gonna do a lot of good tactical players losing the sledge yeah that's 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 me I I, I can hardly play tactical I, I mean I've, I've made tactical mistakes in this in this campaign for sure and I got some soldiers killed so that's another thing on top of messing up the strategy layer, I did mess up two two missions. I did mess up two missions. That got people killed. Jay Darkman was just XCOM. The snake shot him through high cover and then floor gave way and he fell to his death. That was like he he was supposed to be a super high aim uh um uh, ranger. Deaths are fine, excessive wounds are worst, yeah. Can't do much about that. Yeah, so what I want to do now before we start the new campaign, because we're early enough to start the new campaign. And then this campaign being started on Christmas is the one where we get the help from Santa and eventually win it, you know, in two months from, from now. Mm -hmm. I'm starting it now. Hmm. Yeah. Accumulation over time. So that's that's how you lose this game. It just snowballs. Either you snowball towards victory, or you snowball towards uh, towards a loss. Uh, so I just wanted to see where's the where is the memorial. So yeah, see he died as a squatty because somebody missed like a high chance shot, and then he had to go in like a, like a champ. To, to throw a grenade or something. We had to like sacrifice him as a low low rank guy. Kinyu, my fault. I should have aborted that mission. You have eleven deaths and winning. Yeah, the wound like that's another thing that I wanted to talk about. If you get wounds, like I got both of my grenadiers wounded for thirty days. They're out for a month. I had many many thirty days wounds. That is so much XP lost. It's insane. So wounds are like, like that's why I'm saying I will build infirmary as fast as possible. I will try to keep healing at the, the, the lowest possible rate. We need to keep that experience flowing. We need to keep the guys in the fight. Senseless ring. Yeah, that was the attempt. This is when I forced this is when I forced liberation mission and failed. And that got, you know, because we failed that one. Uh, we sort of lost the uh, assault on HQ was postponed by freaking two months, you know, because of that. He was killed because weird activation by one tile or something. He got flanked by, by a mech. Shackled giant. I don't know. Ginyu was more like this is okay. So this is this is the, the tactical. This is an interesting thing. Uh, this was a very interesting operation. It was smash and grab. It was crates. And we were moving forward. And we didn't find a pod. We didn't find a pod. We didn't find a pod. Lego Meister. Hey guys. Hello. Another sub. Oh, you subscribed. Yay! Thank you, Lego Meister. Subscribe to tier one. So let me let me tell you. You can check your picture. I want to see how rough, roughly how many missions we did. Can you check your pictures? Uh, what, what was that? What pictures? 
Okay, but let me just let me just say this is a, this is this was a very interesting experience for me. So, like I said, it was crates, smash and grab. Don't find a pod. Don't find a pod. Don't find a pod. That meant that all the pods will be close together at the end of the map, and that's what happened. We we couldn't clear pods one by one. We ended up activating two pods at the same time. Third pod ran in uh, on the on the next next. Uh, next next turn and i stupidly moved ginyu forward uh trying to trying to get the the crate so this is a situation where you as an experienced commander should should have you know you know when in movies i i, I thought about this situation later uh quite often in the movies when you see like a squad leader he's moving through the jungle and then all of a sudden he stops and he's like something's off you know he feels something's not right on a mission, when you move forward three turns and you don't see a pod, you should say something's really off. And what's off is that what's going to happen, all the other pods are going to be in the same area and they will activate. The same thing happened on this, this mission, Senseless Ring, which was a subway. Uh, we had to hack the thing, I think, for, for liberation. Again, we moved, we moved, we moved. There were no enemies and then there was three pods at the objective. And we still had ballistic weapons or something uh, uh, on, on most guys or, or, or we didn't have the firepower, the, the team wasn't right. So you should like get the sense that it's not working. This mission, like you got screwed with pod uh, locations. And then you should be like, this is this is feeling off, I'm gonna back off. Like on this mission where, where Ginyu died, it was, it was smash and grab, we could have just dropped evac, grabbed like two crates, and move out because we know that when we activate it's going to be way too many pods they're going to be at max distance unless you have your guys who are shooters and i didn't have them if you don't have guys who can deal with stuff uh, from range you should just like bug out of that mission that's what you know experienced commander would do instead of forcing and getting people killed and then evacuating with wounds and 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 dead soldiers so that was that was an interesting that was an interesting le uh, learning experience these two missions senseless ring and 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 shackled giant where you just move 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 no enemy no enemy no enemy that means they're all going to be clustered and then you have to decide do i give up before i get wounded and and you know potentially lose guys or do can i really you know push forward i think you have to up the fight density not get scared of vigilance and use more the undercover mission yeah that is the plan Covert operations, I'm gonna use them a lot more in the in the new campaign. The option on top of memorial. Commander is coming up with excuses. I'm analyzing the campaign, Palinerno. I'm analyzing the campaign. What picture? The option on top oh on top of memorial. Two photos, okay. 113, I guess. Ah. 113 missions. If everyone is dead, nobody can argue with him. <laughs> on Iron Man, you have to learn to cut your losses. Not only the soldiers, but like just give up on the mission is what I've learned. Give up on the mission. Squad wipes? Yeah, I didn't have squad wipes. But those two missions were missions where I didn't even need to get wounds, you know, let alone uh lose soldiers okay so we wanted to see i just wanted to see albert dan 2255 what what do you expect from a shooty ranger with you know god tier aim ben ben got two campaigns guys ben got two campaigns and it is amazing how similar we got he he performed better in this campaign first campaign was just a ridiculous amount of grazes and misses 97 miss 97 miss 97 grays it was insane what he did in that campaign in this campaign he was way more reliable but still ben is ben so what we're gonna do in the next campaign because i've played the least with the templar we're gonna start with the templar ben you got your two chances now sitting it's sitting jack's turn and we're actually going to start with the templar to have access to uh, their healing facility I am going to be all about getting soldiers back into the fight as as fast as possible in the new campaign. Still, I mean, he did pretty good. He did pretty good. 
Um, Sonny, he was the Grenadier. He actually only did 16 missions, even though he was a starting Grenadier, I feel. Uh, because I got him wounded way, way, way too many times. That was that was a big, big mistake. Is campaign over? Yes, Bundolo. We're over. And we're starting a new one immediately. I've actually prepared it already. Because I felt like this is how it was going to end. When I, was, when I was thinking and analyzing this campaign uh, through in the course of the week, I really didn't expect us to win uh, Black Sight. And that actually happened. Like, there was way too many enemies. And we, we need to go with a full team of Master Sergeants in there. If we if we if we did it like in August, then it might have been a good enough team without the sectopod or without with less enemies or something. But at this point, these enemies are just too too strong. Pepe as a dead from above guy, 13 and 28. He didn't get to play much. Like I just don't, I just don't find snipers that strong for winning on on legend Ironman. I was about to suggest to, to give you initial save I had after Gate Crasher. Why would you do that? I have to play with these guys, not with your guys. Uh, but you know, that from above guide, they're always going to have insane uh, kills to 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 missions ratio. But I just think like we need <laughs> we need like five five rangers with rapid fire. You know, we need we, everybody needs to be a freaking ranger with rapid fire. Now, Paulin Revno as a starting. Uh, as a starting officer, he got wounded also way too many times. Uh, and I'm okay with my healer build. I'm okay with my healer build. I still feel it's it's needed for uh, when you get you know shot through high cover crit. He just makes everything. He's a glue that that holds everything together. But we don't need four healing officers. I went overboard with that for sure. Way 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 overboard for sure. Uh, I don't need to try rapid targeting sharpshooters. They're the best. You know what? I think what we're going to do in the new campaign, we're just going to get the sharpshooter that gets promoted automatically and we're going to make him a rapid target officer. And that's going to be the only sharpshooter of the campaign. Still a randomly promoted guy. His aim was relatively low, but he still performed awesome. Look at this. 1538. Rangers. Shooty rangers. There is nothing to be said about them. Other than they rule supreme, they are the best. Renry was uh, picked for a ranger, and then of course, look at this, thirteen thirty-five. That's what you what you're gonna get. Randomly promoted because he had high mobility. I made him a, I made him a snapshot guy, but he had relatively lower aim. So yeah, randomly promoted guy gets to be a holo targeting officer. Skirmisher. In this campaign, we got high mobility, well, medium, medium mobility, high aim skirmisher. They are fun. They are just fun. Running around, dropping grenades, double shootsies. Uh, they're, they're, they're really awesome. He was low. He was a starting gunner, but really low aim, really low mobility. That's why I didn't play much, because, you know, not much use for such a character. Did you use the temple? No, we got him at the very end. We got him at the very end. And I, I got him last in two campaigns, so that's why the new campaign we're starting with one to, to have variants. I also think that makes makes it 90% guaranteed that you get the uh, Hunter as starting guy. But, you know, additional challenge. Why the hell not? Ah, Ethereal, you're the, you had many hero moments, to be honest. Especially the one that I played offline when you were bleeding twice. You 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 got bled out twice, you didn't die. And your build was performing when it comes to damage, but I don't need a souls to do damage. I need a souls to be utility. They're just amazing in, in that in that regard when they can put stuff to sleep. That's why I want extra aim on the on the shooty thing. We'll see what you become in the next life, Ethereal. We'll see. Tom! This time he didn't die. He was a shinobi who didn't die, but he got wounded on every freaking mission <laughs> again. So he didn't get to play play much. Look, nine nine freaking missions. I had way too many wounds. Doctor Glubina as a grenadier also wounded, wounded, wounded. Fear of chosen panics when the chosen shows up. 
He runs out into the open and gets wounded again. Too many wounds on Dr. Glubina. And technical, like technicals, I used to love them, but I also don't see them as strong enough material for uh, Iron Man campaign. They're just not good enough. They're just not strong enough. Uh, rapid fire is in the build. Is in my build. Rapid fire for sure, but not your things. Don Crabio, we got him late, but he got promoted quickly. He did some good scouting. He was he was okay for first outing of Don Crabio. I like it. Logical, yeah. I got sidelined as as yet another one of the one of four freaking officers. That was a big mistake. Vinny was a shinobi, he didn't get to play. Yeah, and now we're getting to the guy. I didn't get to play my character because I kept getting wounded as well. I did four missions the entire campaign. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. My things make you actually hit hard. Double rapid fire makes you hit hard. You need only rapid fire, dude. And the rest is utility. Yeah. And we had our first sigh. You know what? Sai is just a waste of resources. I don't like it. I mean, Sai, op I feel like if you're going to use Sai guys, you should rush them. And then just steamroll the game with Sai wizards. Because they're just too strong. They're OP. So, yeah, we're going back to not using Sai ever. Which means we're selling all the sectoid corpses and all the priest corpses. We're treating them as money. I'm not going to use Sai in the new campaign. So... Executor wizard, you you were a wizard in this one, but that's about it. Yurosh got in late, late. Casper is a new character. There we go. They're not that strong. They're not fun. They're super strong, but I don't find them fun. I don't enjoy them. I don't enjoy the, their wizardry. So, yeah, there was, there was a lot. There was a lot of good stuff in this campaign. Most of it was me learning. And now, guys, I'm going to restart the stream just so that I can have... A uh, clean uh, video for YouTube uh, that is the start of the campaign. So I'll stop the stream and I'll be back in like 30 seconds. Okay? See you then.